Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. I want to do a quick video. I've got a... On the video I did for wiring with a uh, drum switch, I have gotten a lot of email from people helping them out, and I love it. I'm glad I've told all people I've helped. Um, I probably get an email every day, every third day. So it's been super cool. So this is a motor scenario, a three wire from the motor. This is a scenario I see a lot on, and it's always on like late eighties, Chinese, like really Chinese motors where a lot of the writing's in Chinese still on it. So these three wire ones where you switch one of them or switch powered pairs comes up a lot probably over half have been this exact setup so i wanted to take the time to show you how to wire a 240 uh, three wire motor three wire not counting the ground so this is how i've done it now the way i want to show you i like to break both the legs of a 240 circuit you can only break one uh, just be mindful of this power there if you ever go to work on it but it's the same mentality as working on a light switch socket or working on the light would you turn the light switch off and then go work on the light socket no you would flip the breaker if you're going to work on a machine unplug the machine or throw the disconnect switch for the machine then you don't have to worry about that but i always prefer to break both legs so let's work through this. Now in this motor scenario, I wish I could use the proper colors, but it seems all these motors use red, black, and white beads coming out of them. So for sake of matching people's colors. Um, in this motor, these top three, this seems to be the numbering they use, the pattern, which is weird. These top ones are bridged. So we're not worried about that for this wiring setup. The bottom ones, you either have four and five joined together and the other power going to one, or you have five and one going together and the other power going to four. So we have to switch from groups of two. So let's work through this. Again, make yourself one of these boxes. This is, I'm actually making a setup with pegboard to make like a fancier one. And no, Cat does not sponsor these wiring videos. I just get a lot of stuff from Cat. So make yourself one of these boxes. It is amazing. You really visualize what's going on. And again, if you're not comfortable wiring stuff, don't wire it. Call electrician, take it to a motor shop, you know, all that. Also, I'm not showing the grounds. Obviously, ground everything. So let's work through this. So let's disconnect these from here. So here's our three wires coming from the motor. Here is our drum switch. Again, this is a drum switch where it's either this way, all broken, or these two will be vertical and we'll demonstrate that. So we're gonna run one here. And when I have to swap do 240, I like to bring one all the way up to the top. So now we got switched. This one always switches this way. These ones switch this way or this way. So now with this top one, we can provide power to there or there. Here it's over. What we're gonna do is jump that up. This this comes from knowing from wiring clusters. You want Kind of like the other one, you're, we're wired diagonally. That way, power's coming this way. So it's coming in here and go over or up. Just go over and up. But they never, ever, ever come in contact with each other. Okay, so we know the white. The pairings are either this one and this one. So we know the white's the one that moves around. So we're going to flip him to here. Sorry, make sure I made the hole a little bigger. There we go. 
So now power is always going to white when it's flipped on. Doesn't matter what position. So we know one cluster we need to provide power to red and white, terminal four and five. So in this position, we'll put the red there. Okay, we know we need power to terminal one. So put this guy up here. Okay, so power comes in, this leg switches on, either forward or reverse. So this is always getting power from the same source. Power's coming up to the white, going over to the red. Both the red and the white are powered. Power's coming across the other leg to the black wire, going to terminal one. So that makes the motor turn that way. So now, pull our stables out. Bend them out a bit here. Like my orange crayon drawing. Couldn't find a pen, but I have children, so there's always crayons everywhere. Okay. Now the switch is in the other position. Again, this power is constant, always goes across on this particular drum switch. And now the flow is up here. So now red is getting power individually to terminal four. And now jumper it up, power to white, and then it's jumping it up to black to terminal one. So that is how you wire those three phase motors. I don't know. It's weird. I don't get a lot of questions from people needing to wire like Baldor motors or, you know, US motors, the brand and anything like that. It's always the really oddball late 80s, early 90s Chinese motors. But again, I'll help as much as I can. Ask, ask questions. Pictures are, are helpful. And if your motor is missing the wiring diagram to it, and the wires are all faded, so you can't tell what color they are anymore. There's only so much I can do, but I'll help you all I can. But again, make yourself one of these boxes or just use a box and do this. It is amazing how much easier it is to visualize something. So yep, that's how you wire a three phase bi-directional motor. That's 240 volt. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.